adult film star Stormy Daniels may have her sights set on Washington. Daniels is reportedly considering a run for the U.S. Senate seat in her home state of Louisiana. Okay, so like I said, she hasn't made a final decision yet, but she is already taking her message straight to the people. Stormy Daniels joins me now. And it's good to see you. Tell me why you're even considering a Senate run. Um, I was drafted by the group uh, Draft Stormy, and at first, I've said this before, I largely ignored the movement, thinking it was a political stunt or just a, maybe a group of rogue fans. Uh, who knows? But the response was so overwhelmingly positive, and I was getting flooded with emails and messages. Uh, people wanting to talk to me, and then people saying that they really needed me to do this, that they would do whatever it takes to help get David Bitter out of office. And I thought, you know, this is obviously a great opportunity for me to get my voice out on things that I really care about. And if people really want me to do this, then I feel like I'm sort of obligated to do that. Well, like what? What do you really care about? Um, you know, I want to help Louisiana as far as the, the taxes, the economy. Um, my public, uh, some stuff that I support publicly is the ASACP, which is uh, getting rid of child pornography online and the free speech. And if I can use the press to get my message out on those things as well, then I'm going to take that opportunity to do so. Uh, there's a political science professor at the University of New Orleans who says your candidacy would show the lack of any real credible democratic challenger. I mean, do you think that there's going to be a problem with you being taken seriously on big issues? Uh, of course, of course. I would be incredibly naive not to think that. Um, and you know what? The less serious the opponents take me, the easier it is for me to sneak up on them. And, uh, and also, you know, maybe it will inspire someone else who is extremely qualified and who is the best person for the state to do the job. Maybe it will encourage that person to step up and run, too. Well, given that Republican David Bitter currently holds a seat, he was linked to a prostitution uh, scandal uh, a couple years ago. When are you going to make your decision? Um, I've been doing my listening tour this week, at which the outpouring of people was just amazing. I was overwhelmed with the positive feedback and how many people came out. So I have to go back uh, home this weekend, and I'm going to come back in the following weeks and do some more cities. I'm really excited about getting up to North Louisiana. Well, listen, then... when you make your decision, I hope that you'll come back and tell me first. Will you do that? <laughs> I will try to do that. All right, Stormy, great to talk to you. Good luck.